Well, yesterday, Governor McCrory spoke to a crowd of thousands gathered for his inauguration in Raleigh, saying his mission is to revitalize the state's economy. NBC Charlotte anchor Dave Wagner was there for the ceremony. I do, so help me God. Congratulations. In a city where politics never sleeps, the state celebrated a new governor. Pat McCrory called for a new beginning. We have the opportunity to transform our culture of government through a top-to-bottom assessment of efficiency, effectiveness, and more than anything, a culture of customer service. From a part-time mayor position in Charlotte to a full-time role as the state's chief executive, Pat McCrory is facing a heavy workload and maintains the culture will be different. We will institute the high ethical standards for all the who serve in government. And in an interview for NBC Charlotte's Flashpoint, McCrory vows to stand up to special interest groups. We will be probably stepping on the toes of a lot of powerful interest groups if we're going to reform tax, the tax code. While Pat McCrory is the first Republican governor in two decades, this was a day of togetherness, and both parties say they're hopeful. He's got the intelligence, he's got the integrity, he's got all the, the attributes that you want in the governor, and, and he's willing to work hard. He's shown that as uh, mayor of Charlotte. I think he'll do a good job. He's very progressive-minded. Uh, he's committed to education. He understands the connection between uh, the workforce and creating jobs. Now we've got a governor who embraces a lot of things we'd like to see done, and we're going to be able to do everything we can to help support them. What will be the first priorities from a legislative standpoint? Well, we'll be working on deregulation, trying to get our regulatory environment to be more competitive. McCrory's road to Raleigh began at a young age. His father was a city councilman in Worthington, Ohio. This was his campaign flyer. They're so close, and the, probably the greatest compliment I can give Pat is he's a lot like his dad. And I have the high, highest respect for my dad, and as a result, the, the utmost respect for my brother Pat as well. Roland Mac McCrory was also an engineer and created a starting device for an engine. Fifty years later, his son became North Carolina's governor. I proudly stand here today and thank my parents. With three rows of relatives watching, McCrory's love of family is not in question. Her picture. His direction for North Carolina is something Democrats watch with caution. McCrory attended the swearing-in of the General Assembly this week. And then this Republican governor attended the Democratic caucus meeting. But I think it's going to be interesting to see how his administration tackles some of the challenging issues that we are facing with this state. I think if you're going to see a positive change, you're going to see a lot of working together and trying to do what we think is right to put North Carolina back on a great trajectory. As the parade and honeymoon come to an end, this son of a city councilman is faced with starting a new engine and a new era for North Carolina. In Raleigh, Dave.